Today is January 25th, 2014, Saturday, 6.45 p.m. Pacific Time. Next, flu deaths double in California. Emergency tent set up outside emergency room. Posted January 25th, 2014 by the Extinction Protocol. State health officials reported on Friday that California influenza deaths this flu season have doubled to 95, with an additional 51 cases likely to be confirmed next week. That would put this year's number of flu fatalities so far at 146. At this time last year, nine deaths had been confirmed, and only 106 were confirmed by the end of the season. So far, we have had a much more severe season, said state epidemiologist. Epidemiologist Dr. Gil Chavez in a conference call with reporters on Friday. He said that flu activity in California remained widespread. In part, the gap between this year's deaths and the number of deaths at this time last year is because this year's season struck early, Chavez said. However, this year's predominant flu strain is H1N1, swine flu, which is more deadly than other strains. 75 of this year's 95 confirmed deaths were caused by H1N1. Chavez said that the week ending January 18 saw a decrease in hospitalizations and outpatient visits for the flu. He added that the level was still higher than expected for this time of the year and that it's unclear whether this means that the peak of season has already hit. It's too early to tell. Whether that's the beginning of a reversal or just a temporary change, he said. Chavez urged people to get vaccinated to protect themselves from the flu. Mm, I'll have to pause there, folks. <laughs> the flu typically is mo most deadly among young children and the elderly. H1N1, however, affects young adults more severely than most other forms of the flu. Three of the 95 confirmed fatalities were children under 10, according to Chavez. The most recent was confirmed in Riverside County and the two others were in San Mateo County and Los Angeles County. State epidemiologist James Watts said, The majority of the young adults who died of the flu had other conditions that put them at risk, like obesity, pregnancy, or underlying health issues. And this is per the LA Times. Well, folks, uh, it's totally up to you about the flu injections, but... I don't know, folks. Do your research before you you decide to get a flu shot. That's what I would say. Okay? Use extreme caution because we've seen a lot of reports about uh, f flu shots causing more serious problems than, than anything. So please do your own research on that. And this is not medical advice. It's just a suggestion. Okay? And I'm going to put a link at the bottom of the video for you. And this is for information only. Thanks for watching. Pink